Hello everyone, so welcome back to Financial Solutions today. I am your coach Jay and we are here to help you build your wealth. So how is everyone doing? Okay, so if you feel that our topic is, is helpful in your uh, the area of your finances, so please don't forget to like this uh, video and share it to all the person that you know. And if you can also uh, leave a comment on how does it help you so we can inspire other people, okay? Today, we are going to talk about how to stop living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, so this is another uh, big problem that we are facing right now in our society. Okay, so how to stop? living paycheck to paycheck. Sesya na po kayo sa sulat ko. No? Wala na talaga improvement. Niya. Although I've been a teacher for so many years since 1994, but hindi na talaga na-improve yung aking uh, handwriting. Nevertheless, okay, the most important thing is we learn from the topic. So, Statistically, so we are really in trouble right now because uh, we have about 45.2 million Filipinos okay, working for somebody else or employee. If you're working for somebody else, that's why uh, paycheck to paycheck means you are always fighting for survival. That, uh, Ring Kinsenas katapusan, wala na talagang natitira. So, ibig sabihin ito yung mga nagsasabi na kulang na kulang pa. No? And the proof of this, the proof that uh, this is 45 million Filipinos, 45.2 million Filipinos employee. Okay? So, ang proof nito na marami talagang paycheck to paycheck is about 90% of the Filipinos that are working are in debt. Uh, usually, uh, like for example, kung ikaw ay kumikita ng minimum wage, like if you're earning 15,000 per month, okay, so kumikita ka ng 15,000 per month, malamang ang maiiwan na lang dyan kasi magbabayad ka, let's say, the average that you're paying for credit cards, loans, personal loans, and other things is more than 50% of that probably around 8,000 per month. So may maiiwan na lang 7,000 at hindi pa yan sapat dun sa mga pambili natin ng mga uh, needs natin. Ano? So the, the, the truth here is if we knock down this debt, then that will help us get out of, get out of the paycheck the paycheck thing. So about 70%, this is another because uh, since kulang, about 70% do not set aside any amount to savings. At malaking problema ito. No? Malaking problema ito dahil kung wala kang set aside na any amount to savings, then you can never build a retirement portfolio. No? And another is more than half more than half of the employees or more than 50% needs another job another another job or needs to work needs uh, another job or needs to work more than one job and that is only to make ends meet hindi pa yun makakasave talaga no that is just to make ends meet. Okay? So hopefully you are uh, getting, okay, you are learning from this. Are you learning? Anyway, so this is just a very short uh, uh, train of very short uh, teaching. No? So you can always get back no? if you kayo nami miss. No? So let me give you some practical uh, tips on how we are going to get out of this paycheck to paycheck thing because we have to because it's going to be a big problem 
that you will never break the cycle of poverty hanggang tayo ay living paycheck to paycheck. So, we need to do something on how we are going to get out or live, uh, stop living paycheck to paycheck. So, let's draw a pyramid to illustrate on how you're going to live. Okay, get out or uh, stop living paycheck to paycheck. So, the foundation is, so like any other like any other uh, things that you do, there's always some sort of foundation. Yeah, di ba plagi natin pinag-aaralan sa blueprint natin na building wealth is like building a house. You need a strong foundation. The foundation is if you want to stop living paycheck to paycheck is what we call responsibility. Okay, so meaning we have to take full responsibility Okay, that we really desire and we really want to get out of this uh, stop living paycheck to paycheck. So usually the responsibility is connected with your why. Why do you need to stop living paycheck to paycheck? Are you sick and tired? Are you sick and tired of fighting for survival? Are you sick and tired of being in debt? Are you sick and tired of uh, struggling financially? Or are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? So very important that we understand that we have to have a strong reason. Okay. Especially if you are if you are in the what is stake here is your family and your future. Then because if we take more responsibility, then we will be more determined. And what do I mean when you say determined? You will do whatever it takes to stop living paycheck to paycheck. The next one is, of course, we need to, we, we call it planning. Okay, so we need to plan very carefully, no? And Dito, kailangan natin ng uh, purple planning. So, we, we need to understand what are the needs and what are the wants. So, yung mga needs, minsan kasi ang problema natin, baka yung income natin, hindi pa sapat dun sa needs. Like groceries, no? sa education, mabigat yun, no Pero kung halimbawa, pay, you are paycheck to paycheck, inside needs. no So, meaning yung wants lang ang iyong problema. Okay, so also we have to plan here how to get how to get out of debt. Because basically, yung utang ang nagdadala sa atin sa paycheck to paycheck things. Because whatever amount that we knock down, we can convert it into savings. No? That's why we have a, we have a lot of trainings about uh, the art of budgeting on how we are going to budget it because sometimes it do, if you don't budget, is hindi mo nakikita na may mga unnecessary expenses pala no, na pwedeng mawala. The next one is lifestyle inflation. Uh, this is another big problem because uh, nangyayari kasi ngayon is status quo. Okay, like pag may bagong labas na kung anong bawa, Ang phone mo ngayon is iPhone 12, tapos ngayon nagbigumili ka na iPhone 13, tapos last this month may lumabas na iPhone 14. So if you if you keep on increasing your lifestyle, no matter how you increase your savings, uh, no matter how increase your uh, yes, no matter how you increase your income rather, hindi ka talaga makakaalis dun sa utang. And you will never get out of being paycheck to paycheck. Okay, so make sure that we maintain a very simple lifestyle. Okay, and the only the way to do it is, of course, we have to have a careful budgeting. Okay, okay lang naman. Wala, wala naman masama, di ba? If you want to buy an iPhone 14 or iPhone 13, so whatever version it is, as long as it will not put you into debt. Okay? If, if, you are, if you are using it in business, then make sure that the business covers 
its um, expenses. And of course, the most important thing here is you have to increase your income. Kailangan, as we always tell people, you need to have multiple streams of income. No? So you can never, never stay at one source of income. Not even two sources of income. It has to be multiple. So I would really encourage everyone, if you will join LSA, so you join LSA, so we will teach you because we have a lot of programs on how to help you increase your income and how to help you knock down your debt, how to budget so that at the end of the day, you will stop living paycheck to paycheck. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. We, we pray that you learn from this, you apply this, and you share this to other people that you know, the people that you care, the people that you love. So thank you so much once again. Uh, till uh, the next training, God bless everyone.